What up, it's your boy, Carrie Too Smooth. If you're watching this, that means you really wanna learn how to play R&B on the guitar. So I'm glad that you're part of this channel. If you haven't already subscribed, do me a huge favor, subscribe and click the bell to be notified so that you always know when we're dropping the new heat. All right, so today I wanna to talk about a concept um, about how you can like do hammer-ons or whatever, and it, even it's adding the triad movement. And so a lot of times people watch my playing, they're just like, yo, 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 how do you do it? So I wanna just kinda of give you a little bit of insight and I wanna use this one song by Colo um, to let you know like how to use it. So we're gonna be in the key of E major today. Right? Uh, so we're gonna start on that F sharp minor. A major. A flat minor. C sharp minor. F sharp minor. A major. A flat. C sharp, so. So that whole like downstroke, upstroke kind of like palm muni kind of situation. So I'm, I'm resting my hands on the string. C sharp. But it's gonna be really quick. And the palm meaning helps with that whole dynamic of how the sound sounds. And when you get to that C sharp, you can do it like regular hammer-ons. You can do extensions of it. Depends on how you want to fit it in that time frame. And even when we get to that F sharp, you can do that off of that minor nine. Now there's another lick in there. That's just a lick. We'll get to it in the song and I'll kind of break it down and I'll pause it. But you can do other kind of movements off of that because it's off of that, um, the six. There's that C sharp minor, so you can do other kind of licks off of that. Like running kind of different kind of scale options. so you can see how we're going to implement that technique. Two, three, here we go. But I'm using the space. That's the only lick, but I'm using other stuff around it. You can do a whole lot of other options. So you can experiment in that time when you're practicing. Uh, so this thing, again, this song is by Colo. I'll leave a, um, I think I'll leave this song is called P R Y M E. I don't know how you would pronounce that because I want to say it the wrong way, but that's the song that we're using as this exercise. I'm telling you, if you work on these kind of techniques, like with just the palm muting, the hammer on, and working on like adding those riffs and kind of like expanding those riff ideas, it's really going to help increase your playing. And then you're going to feel more comfortable whenever you do stuff and you hear vibes kind of just like this, you can start to implement the same thing in other keys. So it all works in other keys as well. To get more help with your guitar journeys, watch these videos.